Hello and welcome to the Camper Couple Show. If you've seen our videos, you know we love to explore this beautiful country. From the big city streets to the back roads of the small towns. We love it all, but one state we can't seem to get enough of is our own home state of North Carolina. So if you're ever in the old North state that's way down south, here are 10 small towns that you may want to explore while you're here. Pleasant Garden is a small town southeast of Greensboro and home to the beautiful Hagenstone Park and Campground. With hiking trails, playgrounds, lakes, and a nice swimming pool, the campground offers 41 RV sites with water and electric hookups. And though there are no sewer hookups, dump stations are available at the campground. Next is Pilot Mountain, located in Surrey County with a population of less than 2,000 people. Pilot Mountain is a small town that offers the convenient essentials while still maintaining that small town charm. This town is named for the distinctive geological formation that served as a landmark guide for the travelers in ancient times. Pilot Mountain State Park is a beautiful place to visit during any season. With primitive campsites available on site, in an RV park with full hookups nearby. When you hear the words small town, most people think of Mayberry from The Andy Griffith Show. Well, Mount Airy, North Carolina was the inspiration for the fictional town of Mayberry. In fact, Floyd's Barber Shop and Wally's Filling Station are here in Mount Airy and are still in business today. The Snappy Lunch Pork Shop Sandwich is legendary. Or you can try the huge burger at the Loaded Goat, known to serve the best burger in the state. The next small town is really a historical district in a big city. Old Salem is like a small town that is frozen in time with buildings dating back as far as the 1700s. The Salem Tavern is still in business to this day and serves some of the greatest homestyle meals. George Washington himself stayed at the Salem Tavern so he could learn more about the running water system that the Moravian settlers had developed. While you are there, you can take a horse-drawn carriage ride or explore the many shops where they still do things the old-fashioned way. Lexington is a great town to visit any time of year, but if you happen to be here in the fall, you have to stick around for the Lexington Barbecue Festival which is what Lexington is mostly known for. You may want to get to the festival early though because as the popularity of the festival has grown, the parking has become a bit of a challenge. During the festival, the entire town is filled with food, fun, and entertainment of all sorts. Another great reason to visit Lexington is Childress Vineyards owned by NASCAR legend Richard Childress. This beautiful vineyard makes some of the best wine in the country. And if you can get there, there is also a beautiful bistro to share a wonderful romantic meal. Another legendary small town in North Carolina is the town of Spencer. The town of Spencer was mentioned in the song sung by Johnny Cash called The Wreck of the Old 97. The town of Spencer was formerly known for being the place where steam locomotives came for maintenance and repairs. 
but as Southern Railroad converted to diesel, the Spencer shops were shut down for good. Now, where the repair shops used to be is the amazing Transportation Museum of North Carolina, where you can hop a train ride through town and see all sorts of antique vehicles. Around Christmas time, you can ride the Polar Express or have a romantic wine and dine train tour around Valentine's Day. And in the summertime, you may even get a visit from Thomas the Train. Clemens is a small town just west of Winston-Salem and is home to Tanglewood Park and RV Campground. This 1100 acre park has enough to entertain you for days with pools, water slides, horseback riding, paddle boats, playgrounds, and there's even a bed and breakfast right within the park. Then when Christmas time comes around, Tanglewood Park becomes the festival of lights where you can drive or take a carriage ride through a beautiful display of Christmas lights. Ashboro is more of a small city and is growing more every year. People come from all around to experience the world's largest zoo located here in the Ashboro area. This zoo is a natural habitat zoo with roaming areas so big and wide that the animals don't even know they are in a zoo. They take great effort in perfectly simulating the natural environment needed for each animal species to thrive in a protected place. The Zooland Family Campground has much to offer with 88 full hookups and even more with water and electric only. Downtown Ashboro has a lot to offer too with many unique shops and restaurants of all kinds. The next small town is where we like to go and get the most from the Carolina coast. Holden Beach is the perfect place to be close to the action, but far from the crowds. Holden Beach is perfectly set in the middle of two major tourist locations, Wilmington in the north and Myrtle Beach in the south. You could stay here for weeks and never run out of things to do. Spend a day at the quiet beaches here and the breeze isn't blocked by the skyscrapers or resorts. Take a 30 minute ride to Wilmington where you can take a riverboat tour or drive to Southport to experience the aquarium. You are only 45 minutes from Barefoot Landing in North Myrtle Beach. So if you want to have access to all the attractions, but want to avoid the crowded beaches, Holden Beach is the perfect place to go. Number one is Linville, North Carolina mainly for sentimental reasons. But Linville used to be a secluded small mountain town, but has grown into a very popular getaway on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Linville is a place to experience nature and the great outdoors with Linville Falls, Linville Gorge, and the Linville Caverns. Linville is right at the base of Grandfather Mountain and home of the Highland Games. Linville is not far from Beach Mountain, home of the Mile High Kite Festival. We hope this has given you some insights about places you would like to visit if you just happen to be in North Carolina. There's a lot of other small towns on the list. This is totally unscientific and strictly based on our preferences and opinions. So we'd love to hear what you think also. If you're familiar with the North Carolina area, what are some of the small places you like to visit? There are many great places to visit in North Carolina, many more than what we've mentioned here. So if you uh, have any ideas, just share them in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos, and we'll see you next time. So happy camping. camping.